Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your upper body at home compound workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier. Grab them. For reference, I have a set of five, tens, 15s and 20s. I'll let you know what I'm using, but you and I are different, so use a weight selection that is challenging for you. We will also need a mat, and you're going to need a chair, a bench, a stool, a table, uh, something just for one exercise. If you don't have it, no biggie. I'll provide an option up in this corner for body weight mat only. Today's format will be tri-sets, so we have three exercises at a time. We'll perform each exercise for one minute each, so three minutes of total work. After that three minutes is up, we get 30 seconds to fully recover, do whatever you want in the 30 seconds. Just be sure to look up in that corner for the upcoming exercise. Now, since we do go one exercise into the next, into the next for most of the workout today, be sure to look up in this corner for the upcoming exercise once you hear that ding we've changed the exercise. During today's workout, we have mostly compound exercises. A compound exercise means that we're targeting multiple muscle groups at once. However, in order to hit all muscle groups and to just spice it up, I do have some combo exercises, meaning kind of just two isolation exercises into one. So, but most of the workout is going to be compound exercises. Biggest bang for your buck. Uh, I will be providing options or modifications in that corner, so be on the lookout. Another way to modify today's workout is to lighten the weight selection. When we're in that high plank position, you can uh, shorten your lever by bringing the knees to the ground. And you can also just put the dumbbells down and take a breather and pick it back up when you feel recovered. All we can ask of ourselves is to try our very best. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna challenge ourselves, try our best, and let's get strong, y'all. Grab all your stuff, grab something for hydration, and let's get to work. The first three exercises are body weight only, but if you wanted to amp it up for the first two, you could grab one light weight in each hand, but fair warning, it's gonna be challenging and you need to make the dumbbells light. I'm going body weight only. All right, our first exercise will be prone shoulder presses. So we're right here on our belly, lift the chest slightly, hands go out to the side, pronate the grip, we bring it forward, we bring it in. All right, so up and then in. Prone, shoulder press, grab weights. If you want to challenge, we go. This is just your warm up. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Next up, we have prone around the world. We'll keep the same position, but we're gonna bring the hands in semi-circles in three, two, and one. Next up, we have push-ups on the knees. Control the movement and keep the elbows pointed back at 45 degrees. Let's go. Every day goes by so fast 
And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars We recover in three, two, and one. All right, 30 second break. Next up, grab your weights. We have a shoulder press, bilateral, slow tempo. I'm gonna go heavy here. I'm gonna grab my 20s. And then we have a clean to press on the right, followed by the left. So one bilateral, two unilateral, grab a drink. Let's go. Slow it down for five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we have a cling to press. We'll start on the right. And three, two, and one. Set one of those dumbbells down. We bring it up, shoulder level, flip the grip, use the lower body again to drive it up, and then reset. We switch sides in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. All right, nice work. 30 second break. Next up, we have two unilateral movements. So a power snatch on the right, power snatch on the left, and then we go bilateral. I'm gonna drop this to my 15s. Feel free to use the same weight though. Let's go. Keep the dumbbell tight to the body.
We switch sides in three, two, and one. Next up, we have a bilateral movement. We'll grab that other dumbbell. It's neutral, full thrusters. And three, two, one. Grab that dumbbell, use the legs to power up, control the eccentric. And one. All right, this next triset, I'm going to be using three different weight selections. For the first exercise, the dumbbell six way, I'm gonna use fives. They're light. It's gonna be challenging though. Poliquin lateral raises, I'm gonna up it to tens. And then for the bicep curl to Arnold press, I'll end with 15s. Here we go, dumbbell six way. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still, I find myself calling. Next up, we have a Poliquin lateral raise. It's a hammer curl, elbows out, and then we really control the eccentric portion. I'm gonna use tens. Let's go. Next up, we have a curl to Arnold Press. I'm gonna up it to 15s and let's go.
Last three, two, and one. Nice work, all right. Coming up next, we have two unilateral movements. I'm gonna use my uh, 120 for each, neutral grip row. Support yourself with that chair. Uh, we go right, left, and then we have a renegade row. Now the renegade row is going to be in a plank position, but I will provide an option and it will just be alternating hip hinge rows. First up, neutral grip, pull it towards that hip. Let's go. We'll switch sides in three, two, and one. Next up, we have plank renegade rows. Now, if that bothers your wrist, I want you to do a hip hinge, alternating row. Just look up in the corner for the modification. Let's go. Halfway, come on, we only have this exercise once. and one, wow, recover. All right, we're not done with that back yet. Now we have a single arm row on the right, pronated. So we're gonna flare the elbow out to the side, right, left, and then we have a plank pull through where we just need one dumbbell. We're gonna work on anti-rotation of the body as well as some upper. Ooh. Sweat in my eyes. We're about halfway through this workout, a little over. All right, let's go.
We'll switch sides in three, two, and one. Next, we have plank pull throughs. If needed, release your knees to the mat. Let's go. Plank position. We reach underneath the body to grab the dumbbell, place it on the other side, return. Reach underneath the body, place it on the other side. Anti rotation of the hips. Last three, two, and one. Nice. All right, let's get into some more push, chest and tricep focus. Coming up, we have a dead stop, chest press, neutral grip, then pronated grip, and then we're gonna combine uh, chest fly and triceps. <laughs> so grab a set of lighter weights, have them handy, but I will be starting with my 20s in each hand. Neutral grip, tricep, chest, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you are keeping your uh, wrists from breaking. So don't let those wrists break. Keep them locked in tight. Next up, we're going to continue this chest press, but in a semi-pronated position, normal tempo. Elbows 45, now let's go. Up, I'm gonna drop to my tens. We have a chest fly with a tricep extension combo movement. Let's go. Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical.
last three, two, and one. All right, now we get to break our next. <laughs> we only have two blocks left. Now the last one is a little longer than a tricep, but next up it's body weight only and it's our push-up portion. We advance every push-up. A yoga push-up, pike push-up, and then a push-up on and off the knees with a very slow eccentric. Take breaks if you need to. Here we go, yoga push-up. Let's go. One push-up and then bring it to a down dog. Get a nice stretch in this down dog before rippling back to your plank and pushing up. Next up, we have a pike push-up. We'll keep the hips up in the air. Just pretend like it's a body weight shoulder press. Let's go if needed, roll out your wrist, shake it out, and then let's get to it. I'm right there with you. Let's get one more rep in. Three, two, and one. All right, this is fun. So start in a high plank position. We go down for five, four, three, two, hold. Knees down, push up with the knees on the ground, but we lower with knees off. Let's try to get one more rep in. Tapped out, okay. But we have one more block and we have four and a half exercises. So it's gonna be a four and a half minute block. A little bit of everything that we didn't hit. Tricep dips, it's also gonna hit that anterior portion of the delt. Then we have upright rows. I'll be grabbing my 15s. Then we have high to low plank, rolling plank, plank hold. Then we're done, y'all. Four and a half minutes. We got this. If you ever wanted a challenge, elevate your feet. You could also place a dumbbell on the lap. I keep it in my head, I keep it locked away My friends think that this is over Guess it's the price I pay Played with the enemy Now I got you on my shoulders Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love Let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love Let me let go and let me love again let me love again. Let go and let me, let me love, let me, let me love again. 
We have upright rows in three, two, and one. I'm gonna use my 15s. We have one minute of these. High to low plank. Put those dumbbells down. Let's get it. Try not to let those hips rotate. They're going to want to. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand, then switch other side. If needed, release the knees down to the mat. Next up, we have a forearm rolling plank. A few more reps. Three, two, drop it to the forearms. We go one side, pull back. Forearm plank, other side, pull back. We're about to end with a forearm plank hold. It's only 30 seconds. We hold in three, two, and one. I know those forearms, those shoulders, Everything should be on fire. Hold it, we are almost there. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Release, we are done. All right, let's come into a little child's pose. Wow, just get that stretch. Walk the hands, both hands over to the left, right hand on top, and send that right hip back. Come out of it slightly, walk both hands over to the right, left hand on top, and send the hips over to the left. Meet me in a quadruple position, tabletop position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees. Walk the hands out when you can walk them out no more. Mount the chest to the mat. Walk the hands in to frame the face. Push off, uh, walk the hands back out, and then let the hips melt. Release right hip down, look over left shoulder. 
and let's take it to the other side. Left hip down, look over right shoulder. All right, we're gonna come into a very intense shoulder stretch. I want you to come into it very slowly. Release the chest to the ground. Right hand goes out directly to the side. Very slowly roll over. Once you find a spot that feels like a stretch, you should feel absolutely no pain. Uh, just hold it there, hold that deep, deep stretch. You can also turn the back foot into a kickstand, go a little bit farther. I've seen people reach behind and grab. That ain't happening for me though. So always honor your range of motion with everything. Don't try to exceed your range of motion. That's when injuries happen. The more you know. <laughs> We'll hold here for about 15 more seconds. And let's come on out. We'll do the other side. Left hand goes out directly to the side. Very, very slowly start to come onto the left side of the body. If you wanna turn that right foot into a kickstand, do it. You can even just reach. <laughs> Mine's not going anywhere, but just really getting that shoulder nice and stretched out. We'll be here for about 15 more seconds. And when you're ready, roll back onto the stomach. Hands go by the chest, push off, walk the hands in and then flip the grip. So we're gonna stretch out the wrist and the forearms and then slowly just send the hips towards the heels. Now, if you have a lot of wrist pain, all right, um, a couple of things I want you to really focus on, especially if you have wrist pain with the dumbbells, I really want you to try to keep the wrist stacked, stacked with the dumbbell. So try not to let it break. When you start to break with a dumbbell with a load in your hand, it will cause wrist discomfort. So that just takes a lot of mind muscle connection or a lot of just mind muscle, whatever I'm trying to say, I'm delirious. <laughs> just try not to let it break because that will cause pain. Now, if you ha ever have any, uh, for me, I have like a forearm burning sensation sometimes, not with those exercises, but with like any sort of pull up, my forearms just burn. And that just takes a lot of, a lot of time to get used to and build up strength in your forearms. Now with that push-up combo, if you had any wrist discomfort, I mean, you saw me, I had to shake it out just for a second, but um, you could also just release the knees to shorten the lever or just do a rest pause set. You can always just rest, rep it out for a few reps, rest again, rep it out and continue that. All right, shake out the right. Oh, that, feel, that felt good. Shake out the left. Now let's just come into a downward facing dog to transition, get a nice stretch here. Inhale, look up at the hands, walk it forward, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Give yourself a ragdoll pose side to side. Y'all, I am so sorry, but I forgot to hit my watch. And if you have an Apple Watch, you know it doesn't track your workout unless you hit start. It might have said, are you rowing or running or what are you doing here? But I didn't uh, feel it. All right, bring all swing to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, full forward fold. Root to rise, reverse swan, dive it up. Let's hinge at the left elbow, grab a hold of left tricep. Just get a nice tricep stretch with the side bend. You wanna take it one step farther, cross left foot in front. Inhale back to center and let's take it to the other side. Inhale up to center, get a little back bend by just looking up at the ceiling. And as you exhale, cactus the arms, really try to open up the chest in the front of the delt. So let's do that one more time. Inhale up and exhale, open. Y'all, you rocked it out. As long as you tried your best, that is all that counts. Every time you do this, you will just get stronger and stronger. So keep up the amazing work. Let me know how you like this in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on IG at Laurie Midkiff and have a wonderful rest of the day. You rock.